Lord Levine, thank you so much for joining us on Bloomberg this morning. There's still a lot of debate going on about you know, austerity versus growth. Are you concerned that when other European countries seem to be softening their stance on austerity measures, the UK is pushing ahead with what it had laid out? No, I mean, I think the government's made very clear that they're not for turning back on this. And when you see what's happened in the States and you see what happened with their uh, you know, credit rating, I think maintaining confidence by not doing U-turns is the right thing to do. But what I was trying to say last night was that where is the growth going to come from? The growth is going to come from the economy. The growth is going to come from the industry. And whether people like it or not, and if you look back historically, the financial services sector in the UK has been a very big part of our economy and has been a very successful part. Now it went off the rails, and it went off the rails very seriously. But you don't just say from that, well, therefore, we'll squash it so much we won't allow it to operate. So and what are you concerned about exactly for the City of London? Do extra measures need to be put in place to actually boost the City of London or at least not too much regulation to push it down? Well, it's a very, very fine balance. And, you know, 20, 30 years ago, the Lloyds market was in a terrible state and, and it got itself into, as I said last night, it was regarded as the RBS of its day, if not worse. Uh, and we eventually got our act together and we had to do it ourselves. We had help from the regulators to do so. Um, and eventually we got into a position where today, happily, and after a lot of work by all sides, um, we're now regarded as being very stable. We take huge amounts of risk because that's our whole business. But it's very much controlled and it's very much monitored. And I think the, the industry needs to be able to get its act together itself over and above whatever the government may or may not do. And hopefully, if we get to that happy position, then the government will say, look, the industry is doing well, is regulating itself properly, and we don't have to interfere too much. Now, Lord Levine, I wanted to also talk to you about your next venture. You're actually retiring as chairman of Lloyd's in about a month and a half. And then you want to create a, a bank, so by buying retail branches uh, that would serve the UK public in a better way than, than you think some of the banks are doing right now. Is it not a risky time to be opening when we're not seeing any growth out there and we're in the middle of austerity and people are actually watching for what they spend, of what they have in their pocket? Well, you, you have to look at what we're actually trying to do. As, as you correctly say, we've set up this new venture. Uh, the prime target for it is the 627 branches that uh, Lloyds Bank uh, have to put up uh, for sale under their agreement with the uh, EU. Those, bank, those branches are not involved in investment banking, they're not involved in foreign adventures, they're involved in straightforward retail banking. And we hope, uh, if we're successful in buying them, to set up a new paradigm which is going to be on the basis of responding to what the customers want. Uh, UK retail banking was always a very successful and profitable centre and uh, a sector until it went off the rails mm -hmm. and we hope to be able to replicate that and there's a good history of how to do it and I think the people that we've got on board uh, working with us to achieve this know how to. Uh, but Lord Levine, would you be trying to make basically branches? When, first of all, would you be buying your first branch? Because we also well, understand that you're in negotiations with a bank in Australia about certain banks here in the north. Well, first of all, we're not, we're not buying a first branch, if you like. Our prime target, as we've already said, is for the Lloyds package, which is a defined package, the mm -hmm. 627 branches. So we're not going to buy one, we're not going to buy a thousand. We're aiming to buy 627. Yeah. Those branches already exist, they already have their customers. We hope if we're successful that they'll stay with us and they'll find that they get a very good service from a bank which is solely dedicated to retail banking. But how do you make a purely retail bank profitable where you have to charge uh, some kind of fee for you know, the accounts and do you think that the UK population is ready to pay for that? Well, retail bank, as I said historically, has been profitable. Yeah, that profitability has been diluted by a lot of other issues and a lot of other ideas. We believe that by running it in, in a way, if you go back to uh, the days of where Lloyds Bank was under the chairmanship of the late Sir Brian Pittman, who was regarded as the doyen and the best of uh, retail bankers of his day, that we should be in a position to have a business which is very good for the customers, very good for the uh, shareholders, and very good for the people who work there. And uh, I think that the people we've got on board are going to enable us to do that. But first of all, we have to be successful, of course, in the purchase. Absolutely. Lord Peter Levine, we wish you every success. Thank you so much for speaking to us this morning. You're welcome.